It's week 62 of Zerus, so I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he has, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 62 of Zer, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaking giveaway for the month of December, and remember, there is four, I repeat, four winners, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Zer is located on Titan, and he's going to be at the rig, so let's go find out what he has. Zerd, what's up, dude? How you like my dancing, man? How you like my dancing? <laughs> so, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Cold Heart, which is the weapon of the week. It's an exotic trace rifle. Then we have the Knucklehead Radar for the Hunter. An Insurmountable Skull 4 for the Titan, as well as Aeon Soul for the Warlock. We're going to go ahead and start with the Knucklehead Radar first. Intrinsic perk on this is Upgraded Sensor Pack, which provides radar while you are aiming. Enhanced radar while crouching. This also comes with bow targeting, hand cannon targeting, hands on, uh, shotgun reserves, as well as heavy ammo finder. Now, this is an, an okay exotic. Uh, if you're one of those guys who loves looking at the radar while playing PvP, then yeah, I guess it's worth you know benefit to you. Uh, as for PvE, not really so good because you really don't need radar in PvE. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in pvp but definitely a tier 4 in pve next is an insurmountable skull fort in terms of perk on this is transfusion matrix which arc melee kills grant health and melee energy then we have bow targeting hand cannon targeting hands-on shotgun reserves as well as heavy ammo finder now this is definitely a good uh exotic to use in pvp and pve but anyways so it's still definitely good uh for your striker titan uh definitely would give it a tier 2 in pve as well as pvp next is the aeon soul for the warlocks and try to perk on this is aeon energy which throwing grenades grants energy to nearby aeon uh, cultists well it specific specifies cultists so uh yeah you're in a cult if you wear this apparently this also comes with fusion rifle loader, hand cannon loader, impact induction, shotgun scavenger, as well as heavy ammo finder. This is terrible. PVE and PVP, nobody uses the Aeon uh, armor at all. It's just like bad. Uh, so this is definitely gonna get a tier five in PVE and PVP. So. Then we have your wonderful Cold Heart, Trace Rifle, and Trace Perk on this is Cold Fusion, which shoots a Cold Fusion Power Laser. Then we have Extended Barrel, Enhanced Battery, Longest Winner, which Cold Heart's Laser does exponentially more damage the longer it remains on target, as well as Hand Laid Stop. So, oh, it actually uh, has two ornaments, but this does not come with the weapon. First one is Pride of Omelon. That looks pretty badass. And then I also have Sub-Zero. I think there's another one, but I don't actually remember. The Pride of Omelon looks pretty damn cool. Now, believe it or not, people are actually still using this in PvP. And it does pretty well. Uh, even against uh, the meta. It's one of those uh, people who just play with it, just to play with it. So I'm actually going to give this a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvP. But it definitely still gets a tier 2 in PvE because it is definitely still good inside of the raids. Next, we have your consumables, which is your Five of Swords. If you don't have this for your Nightfall Strikes, go ahead and pick this up. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram for a lonely 97 Legendary Shards. I am still Destiny Broke. As you can tell, I don't have Legendary Shards to save my life. <laughs> However, Faded Engram still gives you Season... Uh, three and before gear. It does not give you forsaken gear. Uh, so that, that's kind of shitty. In my opinion. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.